Hi everyone, I'm going to show you today how to create um, a custom overlay, which is, um, you can see right down here, um, it looks kind of like the lower third, but you can actually do it all over your screen, um, however you want, and it's super, super easy to do. So I'm going to turn this one off, and I'm going to show you how to do one for Crafty Hangouts. So let me start by doing a screen share, um, and... I'm going to screen share. This is um, just Photoshop Elements. And I've got my Crafty Hangouts logo here. Um, and what I'm going to do is over here where I've got my layer one, the easiest way I figured out to do this um, was to um, set the opacity of the background to zero. So that just makes the background completely transparent. And then I'm going to go to my file here. Um, and I created this file the size that you need for um, for and it's six uh, 640 by 360 is the size that you need it for the hangouts so I'm just going to take the logo and I'm going to move it right on top and then I'm going to shrink it down to the size that I need it um, for my little custom overlay here and then I'll meh, probably want a little smaller than that right so I think that looks good we'll say yes I'm gonna save it um, and the way that I've been told it works best is if well first you have to save it as a PNG um, and then I've heard it works best if you just save it as um, with the name overlay.png um, and I already have one on my desktop so I'm going to save this one to I'll just save it to the, that folder um, so I can find it and there we go so now um, I'm done screen sharing how to create it now I'm going to screen share the screen that I'm in to show you I've got wow we're seeing ourselves in infinity here so I've got over on this right hand side the hangout toolbox and the way that you find that is it's right here if you don't already have that right here go to the little more button Oops, let me click on it on my actual screen. The more button. And it'll have add apps. And you click on add apps and it'll be right here, Hangout Toolbox. You can install the Hangout inst extension. It takes about 30 seconds. So once you've done that, um, you'll open up the Hangout Toolbox. It'll be right over here. And so I'll choose my file and I'm going to go into where I saved it. And it is overlay. Messy, messy folder of mine. Overlay. And so it should be on there, and I should be able to just turn it to on. And when I go back to here, there it is. So awesome. It's right there. Um, it won't save um, in this screen. So the easiest way to save it is I'll go back into screen share to show you um, myself in infinity. Um, if you go over here on the right hand side, um, under presets, um, I'll say this is Crafty Hangouts. And then on Crafty Hangouts, I'll actually always want a, a clock on the right hand side because um, we do Crafty Hangouts timed. So I will save that. And then that way I'll always have that as a preset. So let me unscreen share here. So you can see I can um, switch to my 30 minutes, 30 minute crafts, overlay, and it's going to do both at the same time. But um, super easy, and then I can just turn them on and off. Um, super easy. So that's how you put your custom overlay in. That's how you set it up. Um, there's the domain across. I turned the other one off. Um, or I can do crafty hangouts, whichever. So super easy to create one, throw it in, and then have them saved so you can use them whenever you want. And they don't take up as much space as that lower third. And because the background's invisible here, um, I can still craft and do things and everyone can still see what I'm doing and it's not too much in the way. So that's how you do a lower third in Google+. Have fun with it and uh, I hope we'll see you on Crafty Hangouts.